Hi guys, welcome to Sunday's episode of The Road to Glory. If you watch yesterday's episode, you'll know that I'm recording this directly afterwards. So, um, decisions haven't been made around the SBCs. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, go, go and check yesterday's video. You'll see what I'm talking about. Today's aim is to play 15 games. I nearly said 15,000 games. That isn't going to happen. 15 games today. Ooh. Ooh. Do I sell? Do I sell? Six and five. I'll list him for 4.9. I'll see. If he sells. Uh, I'll list him for 4.8. If he sells for 4.8, that geese has gone. And that geese has gone. Player which I, uh, I'd i rather take the money for him as well. Um, but yeah, today's video, guys, is all about gameplay. Um, decision at the end of the video will be taken um, on what you guys decided yesterday. So if you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And if you missed any uploads, guys, over the past couple of days, there's been quite a few. And uh, you probably potentially have missed some, mainly SBCs, maybe even this as well. Um, even the, the Road to Glory rewards we got the other day were pretty sweet um, and we get squad fitness that is always good to get and they're from the daily objectives as well um, when it comes to daily objectives guys I will be doing them and I will be claiming them because I lose them if I don't and uh, then I'll be like if the packs will save them for the next episode but um, this is something which we potentially um, won't do uh, no I probably won't do we've got the weekly objectives Eight goals using finesse shots. Should be able to do that in 15 games. Squad Battles Master. We'll be doing that by the uh, end of this episode. Driven shots as well. That'll be done. Assisted. 15 goals this week. Assist 15 goals. I reckon that's doable as well in 15 games. Uh, chemistry Experiment. Apply free chemistry style to the consumables. So I am going to do that one now to see what we get. Obviously the team's ready and rolling. But I'm not going to. I'm going to apply like cheap chem styles to, to like my uh, my fitness team and uh, hopefully do I have any cheat ones see I do use these players so I don't mind putting them on there um, so I'll put it on uh, what if I looked on there is defending and he's shooting which is the definite need he's got architect he's got artist he's got anchor he's got glove oh damn um, I was hoping to apply three of them on here because the main team doesn't need touching Basic on Icardi, and Icardi actually does start for me as well. Uh, so we'll put probably Sniper on him, or maybe up his pace. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one uh, on Icardi. And then we've got one more player to uh, apply some at two. Has everyone got a basic? Oh, no, El Shirari hasn't, right? So we can put one on El Shirari, and uh, then that's the team done. And we'll go with Finisher on him, because his dribbling is pretty high anyway. Uh, so we'll go with Finisher and Physical. And that one completes one of the weekly objectives, and I really recommend you guys doing them, because there could be some decent rewards coming your way. Um, and we're going to see exactly what does happen now. I've been aiming to do them all the time, and uh, hopefully you guys are as well. This gives me a 1,000 coins. And literally, you can go and pick free up for 450 coins on open bid. Just some random ones, apply them, and then that'll get you some coins back. I don't know if they're the same rewards for everyone, but that's what we've got. These ones will be interesting to see what we get, but pretty happy. What we're doing today, guys, is we're taking the team into this. I'm going to see what happens with the next episode when it's uploaded, and then you'll see whether Gamero gets taken out of the team and a 20-game loan, Del P, does jump into it. And if I do get Del P, I'll also be getting Rui Costa for 40 games um, for them both, and uh, hopefully they can help me maybe push towards Elite. We're doing alright, though. Eight games uh, won and uh, two games lost. But it's going to be an interesting episode anyway. So, guys, leave a like rating. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And uh, the next part of the episode, guys, will be obviously gameplay. And I'll select five or six games out of the 15 we play just to show you how important they were and where mistakes were made. Or maybe we found something which has worked and we're going to continue abusing it. So, leave a like rating, guys. Growing up. Back in a sec with the highlights. So, guys, pushing on into the first of the... I think this was the first of the 15 games up against a nice-looking team. Zaha, Musa, Sané. Um, nice midfield, actually. Very attacking. Uh, no wonder I was feeling the, the pressure against my opponent uh, with the players he did have. And uh, straight away, guys, in one minute, ripped through, straight ran, uh, straightly ran through my defence and obviously went for the shot. Bounced to his, uh, his um, player to put it into the back of the net. But, thankfully, Dembele... Not long after, it did give us back to, back to level terms with a nice uh, load driven finish underneath the keeper. But this is a game where I've put in, now I've selected five or six, I think it's six games this time round, 
from the batch. Maybe even seven, actually. There's seven games in today's video. Um, but a batch of games which I'm going to learn from. This one, definitely. If you look at who I'm controlling when in the defending period, um, have a look what's happening with, with my selection uh, of the players and what I'm doing with them as well. Because that is the reason why I'm conceding too many goals, why I'm not solid in defence and why I panic. It's a trust issue with me. Last year, it took me a while to adapt to the fact that you didn't have to control the defenders. And once you trusted it, guys, you, you were solid. You didn't dare switch to the uh, uh, switch to the centre backs, otherwise you'd put you in a bit of trouble. This game, we are able to make it three-two. I think I'm maybe missing a clip in there, um, just because of the little bit of. Um, uh, glitchiness in it uh, but Sani as you can see guys controlling the defenders panic switching and give away a penalty in the 50th minute it was a nice bit of trickery from my opponent but all due to the fact that I was switching around with the players and uh, causing myself um, putting myself in a massive disadvantage you know absolutely ridiculous now foot champions this weekend I don't know if any of you guys agree with me um, feels really hard I don't know why like compared to last week I was having some easy games last week but this time round um, every single game is tough scraping most of the games and uh, coming up against very very difficult opponents this game 4-3 down after he converted the penalty Gamero inside through to Martial nice finish under the keeper 4-4 four, four. this isn't what you used to seeing from me guys which is obviously uh, conceding a lot of good well not con not having high scoring games so 4-4 four, four, 86 minute comes around Nangol and you can see me switching pulling players about gets to Musa Musa smashes it in punishes me throughout all the back of the game guys all the way through the game and um, there you can see, even though I had a lot of shots and a lot of shots on target, my opponent, similar, got the goals. This team, I never even noticed it actually now. Um, he actually had a bronze player who was a, um, a placeholder for a substitution he would make in the team. And we can see Gomez, Mertens... Um, a nice four and a half star team as well. Strong team. Brozovic uh, with the ball through to uh, Gomez there. Gomez with the outside runner, which is Deluca. And I think that was his bronze card. Deluca whips it into the back post and a brilliant finish from Mertens um, does make it 1 0. And that's before we took Luca off. And Luca gets a nice assist as well. A bronze player. Didn't even realise to watching this back, which is absolutely ridiculous. Nice finish from my opponent. But Bates are not switched on, making him make the moves uh, through through the wing and getting the gaps. Martial through to uh, Griezmann, Griezmann through to Bakayoko, Bakayoko back to Gamero, and Gamero slides it underneath the keeper, making it 1-1 um, in the 26th minute. Uh, so with the weekend league feeling a lot hard, it's going to be difficult to try and replicate what I did last week, which was obviously 28 wins. Um, with the way it stands, I think we're at two, I can't remember how many losses right before this episode, but some things did happen today um, as I'm playing it, and I'll talk through it as it happens, and at the end of the video we'll have a recap of what happened in the 15 games and what stage we are at now. My opponent makes it 2-1. Nice finish as well in the 29th minute, and uh, it put us on the back foot. But my corner technique seemed to be working that little bit. We whip it on here. Nice uh, like block by the... Uh, by the defender gives us another chance to do it now my opponent was reading it you can see him selecting the players there but it's one way you can basically put it anywhere and whip it into the front Bakayoko will flick to the back and Varam automatically hit by the computer puts it in to make it 2-2 in the 40th minute um, not only is my defence dodgy but so is his so uh, we take advantage of the set piece into the 58th minute we go for a pass inside the area fails and then my opponent makes a big mistake and it's not just him who does it I do it as well where he does throw the ball out and causes my player to intercept it we get ran into um, by my opponent and uh, it gives away a penalty in the 59th minute. We step up with a penalty. You can see uh, Gamero taking the side step to the right-hand side, able to uh, power it up as well. And you know, the foot champions, there's no arrows. Power it up and uh, do put it just to the right of the keeper, making it 3-2 in the 59th minute. Um, pretty dead game after that, to be honest. Nothing really, nothing much went down. Um, you can see a 3-2 uh, win, and uh, you can see a lot of shots my way to his 2-2. Two two. So it was a deserved game, but a very tight one when it probably shouldn't have been either. Our next opponent, Gabriel Jesus, William Martial, a front three from hell to defend against. Then Bakayoko, Deli Ali and Gai, very defensively strong and very annoying to play against. And the defence just as bad as well. You can see we get done with the dummy there. William breaking through in the 16th minute. Um, I didn't know what he's going to do. Didn't cut back, whips it in. We clear it straight into the path of Deli Ali, hits it there. But then it's some of a rebound, guys, as Martial puts it into the back of the net. Really, really bad defending, but... 
it was a little bit of a, uh, a dodgy one, as you can see. Um, you can see now we're doing it, guys. Panicking, allowing my opponent in. Jesus through to uh, Ganagi. Uh, William gets the ball, bounces out to uh, Aurier, and Aurier whips it in. Now, with that, and he goes 2 0 up. And with that, I am noticing something which I was thinking about actually before, and I was going to tell you about it next. Look at how involved his left back and right back are in the attacks, and they're also in the defence as well. I've got my uh, defence, uh, my wing backs set to stay back while attacking, and that could be an issue with why I'm lacking to create this weekend. Something I have changed from last week as well. Something to look at. Maybe you guys can give me a, your thoughts on it. Ball's whipped in, bounces straight to Jesus, hits on the volley. 3 1, guys, in the 79th minute. A really, really bad goal to concede. And. Uh, I'm not even mourning about the game. I know a lot of people are going to put it down to the game and stuff, but I'm still in that learning phase of trying to get better, trying to figure stuff out. And uh, this team hasn't clicked yet, even though we've made so not many changes, but we're getting unlucky as well. Brilliant fingertip save from Schmeichel there makes it. Um, could have put us into the game a little bit, but he never went for our corner set piece. Uh, ball is flicked out. Goes to Umtiti. Umtiti through the back of Yoko. Nice one, two in. And then it's hoofed out. Just trying to get a goal. My opponent was... Like he'd won the game anyway, but we can see constant pressure. We do get a shot there. Griezmann puts it in the 90th minute, and it stays at 3-2. Really, really, <laughs> really, really bad game that one. You can see we actually uh, did all right again, but obviously failing to put the shots into the back of the net and pass accuracy as well. Defending massive issue. Another opponent, Elite Mayers with Mane, the SBC Kane loan. Sterling Matic, Defoe, who was a super sub, I think, for Overmars and Nangolan. Sterling with the ball out to Matic. Matic gets it on the inside. It's picked up by Mane inside the area, uh, who is offside. But look what comes off the offside, guys. Make a pass to the defender. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Kane gets it over. Simple finish. Overmars makes it 1 0 in the fifth minute and that's all because you don't concentrate I don't concentrate in foot champions and I feel so tired in playing these games at the moment and I can't wait till it becomes second nature but as I said guys still learning the game still getting used to it and hopefully it comes sometime soon over Mars uh, for him to his team I presume a loan one as well but we had made the purchase guys we had committed towards the SBC Del P was in our team now and uh, he was running riot Finesse shots for days, guys. He makes it 2-1 in the 18th minute. And uh, just passing to him and him, hit in, him hitting it is better than having the likes of Gamero. But towards next weekend, still don't know what fully I'm going to do, but we'll have to wait and see anyway. Um, I know Del Piero won't last the full weekend, so maybe Rui Costa's going to come in. And you can see, lucky there with a the tackle. Um, Unlucky with a tackle for it bounced straight to my opponent, but it does. Sterling puts it in the bottom corner in the 26th minute. This game was far from over as well. Del Piero's got two amazing goals, but my opponent was breaking through my defence, um, and you can see whips it into the back post. This was a garbage. Like, as much as I blame, don't blame the game, that was garbage. Uh, Oblak, obviously, uh, letting his legs open, and, and, the, and the slowest of headers goes straight under his legs, making it 3 2. 71st minute, my opponent goes for a tap, misplaced um, pass, gets it through to Griezmann. Griezmann backs into Bailly, Bailly gives away the penalty guys and it's uh, a nice, nice obviously time to get the penalty because still got enough time to go and grab the winner. So Bailly gives away the penalty, I really don't like that shirt, the Oktoberfest shirt which he have given as well um, but you can see that Dembele steps up for the penalty. Um, Obviously, we mix it up. We've still not got anything set with penalties yet. Look like we're going down the middle. Go to the left-hand side, and the keeper saves it into his net, making it 3-3. Tough game, this one, um, but thankfully back on level terms. Now, into extra time. We have brought on Thierry Henry. Uh, Griezmann, and you can see ball over to Del Piero. Del Piero to Valero, who was a sub. He's able to get it inside the area. Nice turn back. Um, I would say that's a foul, but we got away with it. Ball bounces to Henry. Henry to Griezmann. Griezmann through to Del Piero and the third finesse shot from Del Piero um, puts it into the back of the net and gives us a lead in extra time it gets even better though guys Griezmann uh, waiting for the runner gets it on the outside through to Fio Fio through to uh, Casmero Casmero to Griezmann Griezmann to um, Benal, uh, Henri and Henri uh, through to Griezmann nice French link up 5-3 and that seals our victory in this so looking comfortable at this stage of the games, um, I was pretty happy with the way we were playing even though we are taking some losses, but you can see that game was completely dominant um, and going to extra time was a little bit of a mess. But then 
we restarted on the Saturday, something changed, and this is what changed, guys. We're going to a game against David ITFC. Uh, nice looking team as well. Griezmann, Isco, no, Asensio, sorry, Paulinho, Sol, uh, Jimenez, and Vidal. Very cheap looking team apart from Griezmann. And uh, I'm going to show you the full game of what did happen, guys. Now, a lot of people at the moment are throwing around um, the no-loss glitch thing. They're saying it's a no-loss glitch, uh, be very careful of it. People are looking for it, it's pretty frustrating. But, and I even tweeted out going, yay, yay, I got this. And everyone's like, oh, you got no, no loss glitch, bro. But that wasn't the case. The game started off pretty nicely, looked like it was doing pretty well. Casmer were holding the ball nice to get it inside. Ball to the outside of Martial, fake shot inside. Bad bit of dribbling and you give away the ball easily. Vidal puts the ball up through to uh, Sanabria. Sanabria to Bakumbu does the overlapping run there. And you can see the connection going a little bit dodgy just about there. And Semedo gets the ball. Nice passing play, as you can see. We're holding it nicely, passing it around and uh, linking up the wing. We get to the wing... And we are able to uh, do the fake shot, whip it on in, and it could have been a nice, well, it could have been a hit the post, guys. And then, as the ball breaks out, the game freezes. We, and I was in, in Discord at the same time, when I was in Discord, guys, I was like, hello, guys, are you there? And, uh, yeah, no one answered me. I got a disconnection this weekend, and it's nothing to do with EA, guys. Literally, down to my uh, internet, it decided to cut itself off for a split second, and obviously booted me off uh, Xbox. So, I wanted to put that in there, guys, just to show you that not every disconnection is down to EA Sports. Everyone can blame EA Sports for it, but this connection was down to my internet dropping and causing me another loss. So, that takes us to a pretty considerable amount of losses um, in this episode. Game, first game back after the disconnection, guys, coming up against Gary Mellon. Uh, two lone players in Del Piero and over Mars with loan. And he's gone out and purchased himself the second version of Ferdinand, the second version of R9, Kante, Bakumbu, and, uh, no, Bakayoko, sorry, and uh, Deli Ali, Rose, and uh, Alonso. A few, as been quite, sorry, a few decent players in there. And from our corner set piece, we do make it 1 0 in the 11th minute. I would say it would be against the runner player, but it definitely wasn't, guys. We were controlling the game nicely, picking the passes perfectly, and uh, if they were a goal, guys, we were dangerous from corners, but when it comes to free kicks, definitely not. You can see on a bit of a counter-attack there, uh, Bakayoko sends, I think it was Del Piero, flying ball into Martial, nice flip over um, to Del Piero, through to Griezmann, Griezmann waiting for the runs, they aren't coming. And the lack of numbers, but that is lucky. We hit a low driven shot, it bounced off Ferdinand and goes over the keeper as his mid-animation, and uh, from that, we're two nil up in the 29th minute, and we're controlling the game as well. Um, did it feel slow on my part? No, but my opponent did say it felt slow. But I'm gonna take his word for it because you know we feel different stuff. Griezmann with the ball here, waiting for the inside run. Dembele, nice finish, in off the post, three nil. Uh, in this match and uh, I was happy you can see the start button is pressed by Gary Mellon and uh, from that we know what's going to go down guys even though he had a stacked team um, some games out for the people I've had absolute thrashings this weekend and uh, he did disappear out of it early maybe to get the rest of his games done so the final game that I'm going to show you today is going to be against Ronaldo Griezmann Bale Vidal Nangolan Alaba Boateng Ferdinand Florenzi Neuer one of the most stacked teams I have seen, um, and it was going to be a tough game. Now, that substitute, uh, the middle centre midfielder, was a placeholder for someone who was going to take off. Casemiro with the ball gets it through to Martial, Martial to Griezmann, Griezmann uh, on the outside through to Casemiro, and the low German shot first time puts us 1 0 up. Brilliant finish. It's going to be short-lived. The reason it's going to be short-lived, guys, is I don't know what it feels like. It feels like it's a boost for my opponent, or even for me, from kickoff. And you can see, nice play. Defenders moving very, very statically. Bakayoko moving out instead of going back to the defence. And the ball gets to Ronaldo. A nice near post finish makes it 1-0 um, in the 32nd minute of the game. Now, regardless of him scoring, I thought we were pretty comfortable up until that point. Obviously, you've got to be uh, thinking in the back of your mind, guys. You've got likes of Ronaldo, Bale, and... Um, who else? Alexis Sanchez was a player we brought in as a sub. So you got to think, you got to get the goals because literally one bit of magic from them high-rated players, and you're going to be absolutely rinsed. We make it two-one in the 40th minute with Griezmann, a brilliant finish, and we were holding on to the game very nicely until the 86th minute, where I made a loose pass, Nangolan clearing up in the midfield, fast passing, panic defending, nice first-time shot from Sané, who was a super sub for him, makes it two-two in the 87th minute. All well and good. 
until the 114th minute. Defence caught short, ball through to Ronaldo. I'm controlling the midfield still, but that pass there, we get lucky. Then we flip to the defence, pulling them out left, right and centre. And this is very, very annoying to watch because it's similar to what I did in FIFA 17, you know. And then we learn what to do. Defending. I need some tips fast and hopefully you guys are better defenders than me because you're not going to be getting any gameplay tips when it comes to defending uh, from me in these videos. So a bad run of games and a good run of games. Another loss, you can see a game which was very even but we didn't take our opportunities and uh, come back to bite us in extra time. So let's go and do a brief little outro guys, see what's going down and hopefully something good. And there we are guys, we are at... 25, no, yeah, 25 games played, 18 wins. So seven losses, one of them was a DC. Not like going to complain about it, um, but we are having a rough weekend again. Can we get better than what we did last week? I do not know. Um, if we go and show you the team, if we can, oh, actually, I can show you the, um, uh, what is it? I can show you the, um, as it looks, guys. We were near top 100, but I think we were too far out of it. So I'm literally going to stay there and finish Elite 1. And you guys will see this that video on Tuesday morning for Elite 1 squad battle rewards. Transfers, four things have sold. Um, it's selling slowly, but we are getting rid of it. 4.8k for that player we packed at the start of last episode, uh, and a few others have gone. That Atletico Bilbao badge has just stayed there throughout. Uh, up to 216,000 coins, and we got four packs uh, as well from daily gifts and stuff like that. And I think I'll more than likely, guys, going to open them in tomorrow's episode um, for the start of the World to Glory and see what I get. And maybe I might do another SBC actually. Uh, thinking about what SBCs have we put out? I don't think they put much out, but we'll see. Harry Kane, Harry Kane. No, I think I might actually compete, co complete the Rui Costa loan and bring him on in. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah, we'll see anyway. So, guys, 18 and 7. Pretty rough weekend league. Not going to complain. Learning the game. Haven't got the perfect uh, combination with the team yet. And uh, hopefully the progression, the road to glory, will uh, obviously hit the glory sometime soon. But it's not going to be this week. Let's see how we finish out tomorrow, guys. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Not. See you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>